The Ebola virus, efforts to contain it and to care for individuals and communities affected by the crisis continues to dominate headlines this week. Officials from the World Health Organization are in Washington appealing to U.S. and global leaders to step up their contributions and equip response teams with the staff and skills to mount an effective response effort. The crisis has raised fundamental questions about how global health emergencies are funded and how they should be funded. The World Health Organization, positioned as one of the only agencies capable of mobilizing a global outbreak response effort, has been hampered by budget cuts in recent years. And some are questioning whether the international community should completely rethink the way it dedicates money, staff, and authority for future disease outbreak events like this one. DevX has been reporting from the Social Capital Markets 2014 conference in San Francisco. Global innovators, investors, foundations, governments, institutions, and social entrepreneurs have all come together to try to think of creative ways to dedicate more capital towards social good. U.S. Agency for International Development Administrator Rajiv Shah was scheduled to deliver the keynote address at this conference, but due to the high urgency of the Ebola crisis, his trip has been canceled, and his chief of staff, Margaret Sullivan, will instead be offering the keynote address. Our DevX Impact reporter, Adva Saldinger, is in San Francisco, and will continue to keep tabs on the side conversations and big ideas emerging from SOCAP 14. Federica Mogherini is the new High Representative for Foreign Affairs and Security Policy of the European Union. European Commissioner for International Cooperation, Humanitarian Aid, and Crisis Response, Kristalina Georgieva, was in the running for the position, but is now expected to be the next budget commissioner. Mogherini has been Italy's foreign minister since February this year, and as the crisis between Russia and Ukraine continues to escalate this summer, that issue is expected to dominate much of her responsibility going forward. DevX will continue to monitor these and other breaking stories around the world of international development. Please stay tuned.